Hey everyone, Shaver1000 here. Today we're going to be doing some more work on the KO Fox 70. Uh, sorry about the lawnmower in the background, but neighbor has to cut his grass, so I'm fine with that. So uh, let's get on to the intro and I'll show you what we're going to do. So I just had to put this back on because I wasn't recording. So today what we're going to do, I'm going to throw the carburetor on. It's not a big deal, it's just two bolts. But when you take this out, this is what it's going to come out like. It's going to come, this is going to come out of there. And the new one has one in it already. So what we're going to do, and this slice down here, this is a slide. I don't know what you guys are seeing and what you're not. This is a slide, okay? And there's a, a slice down the side of it here. Right there. Now inside that slice is where your uh, cable is going to go. So I'm going to grab a little screwdriver here. And what we're going to do is... We're just going to take our screwdriver. There's a little piece of lead right in there. And you're just going to push that piece of lead up. Now this one's kind of sticky because, you know, it was seized up. Now, what you can do is hold the end. I took this clear off. You normally don't have to do this, but I took it clear off to show you this a lot easier than over there on the ground. I'm going to hold this, this end right here, where my thumb is. I'm going to hold that, and I'm going to push this slide up, and you'll see that piece of lead come out of there, just like that, okay? Then you're going to slide that through that slide like that, and that's how that comes off. Now. I'm going to wipe this off and clean it off and then I'll show you how to put the new one on. Now before we put the new one on, we're just going to slide this cable right out of there. See, it's just going to come straight out of there. If you have to, you can move this rubber piece up here out of the way. It can be fiddly. There, just like that. You can leave this, if this is still in good shape like this one is, you can leave it on. But since mine came with a new one, I'm going to put a new one on it. Just to show you in case you have to, uh, just in case you have to change yours. So let me grab the new one here. Now here's the new carburetor. We're just going to unscrew this and it's going to want to pop out at you don't be alarmed there's your spring and your slide should let me set this down there it is should slide right out like that okay now inside of here there's a little clip you can change that clip to give you more or less throttle. I'm just going to leave this one the way it is because if I was going to keep it, I would have it to where it would open up more. But since I don't know if somebody's going to buy this for their kid or not, I'm going to uh, I'm just going to leave it where it is. Okay, so now we're going to grab our cable, our spring. So we're going to this just is just going to slide down through there and it's going to come out that end and this is just going to slide up on there like that just like that now we're going to put our spring on there like that there's a little gasket there don't lose that gasket because it won't run right okay so we're going to slide this down on there we're going to compress the spring 
just hold it in your fingers like that and we're going to slide this back in there just opposite of what we did there's that slice slide your piece of lead in there like that let your spring go, go up inside there and there's our cable and that's what's going to operate your throttle just like that see that okay now I'll show you how to slide this back into the carburetor now down in here inside there I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting but there's a notch on this one it's on the choke side now you also see a little slice on the other side right here and it's kind of wedged that's for your that's what adjusts your idle and that's your idle screw you can also tell that way too so make sure that goes to the idle screw and the other one goes over here just give it a little little twist and you'll feel it there you'll feel it go start in and then push that down in there don't force it if it don't want to go pull it out make sure you are lined up also right here you see that little that's where you can line your long slot up if you look at it like that and it'll slide in Then you just screw this on hand tight you never want to use pliers on these because if you have to take this off which you know at least once a year depending on how much you ride you will have to take these carburetors off and clean them and there we are and you can see the slide inside there I think see that slide and when you pull up on this cable you should see the slide move up and down and it does so just check that alright now I'm going to go put this carburetor on all it is is you'll have an o-ring right here that'll go up against the flat part of that plate just like that and the other one usually there'll be it'll be on the side here but this one stayed on to the intake manifold but make sure you get that rubber part in there I'll show you I'll show you that let me grab the other one okay so let's set our carburetor down now this is just going to go in them little grooves right there and it'll stick right in there this side will go up against the intake manifold the little gooseneck that comes off the top of the engine um, if it stays on your uh, intake manifold a lot of guys will tell you it's fine leave it and then but if you do sometimes this will not get seated correctly you have a vacuum leak here and your bike won't run right and maybe not even at all so make sure you just take that off and put it in here now what you can do if yours this one's fine but sometimes they keep wanting to fall out on you take you just a tiny tiny bit of like some permatex or you know silicon sealant just a dab inside the ring here on like two sides stick that in there and let it set up just enough to hold it you never want to use it on here okay just but that's enough to hold it until you can get this up in there so i'm going to put this carburetor on and then i'll show you how to hook the other end up in case you do have to change the uh throttle cable i'll show you how to hook it up on a thumb throttle okay guys now to hook up this throttle you might have to use a pair of pliers to pull this out you pull that out hold it with your fingers and there's a slot right here you're going to want to put that barrel a piece of lead down in that slot make sure it goes all the way into the one underneath and if you have to get you a little where my little screwdriver went but uh let me grab my screwdriver okay so take your screwdriver down under there 
we go again. All right. Pull that out. Put your barrel down in there. Make sure it goes in to the bottom one. Like I say, Matt, there it is. And it'll drop in just like that. Take your little rubber piece that goes on here, just like that, and put your top on. Sometimes you may have to, these bend real easy, so give it a little bit bend down there, just so it's even across there, and you're good to go. Now this piece right here, let me get you a, a better shot at that. I wanna show you this. Now if you have one of these and it's going really, really slow, This is like a governor. This screw right here. As you can see, this one's broke off. I broke it off trying to unscrew that. Okay. You back that all the way out. You can take it clear out if you want. And it'll give you more throttle. As you can see right now. Whoops. Well, anyway. <laughs> all right, I gotta get this put back down in here. But, as you can see, it's only going to open up that far. What's going on? Okay, it's only going to open up that far. So, I'm going to have to get my side cuts and cut this off because it will not come out. Because of steel and aluminum, it's been set in a long time. Some of them have a jam nut with a Phillips head on it that you can unscrew. This one didn't have anything. It just had a little nub sticking out of there. And you're supposed to get on it with a pair of pliers and, and pull it out. But if you have little ones, you can screw it all the way in like this one. And it'll only give them so much throttle. So I'm going to cut that off. And then I'll put my cover on. Which is only two screws. Your cover will go on just like that with two screws. Get your dust boot on there. And we're good to go so let me get that taken care of and then we're going to see if this thing will start up okay guys let's see if this thing will start We go it's running and uh, I just got to button everything up sounds like it's got a fuel pump issue um, so that that could be something there but uh, I don't think there's an adjustment on here there's a screw where an adjustment should be but I think it's I think that's all it is is a screw but I could try to adjust it let's uh let's fire this up again
Like store for fuel. Let me check that adjustment. We'll see if that has something to do with it. Good, don't it? Yeah, it does. For a little bike. Yeah, it's powerful. Yeah, it's got a little power. <laughs> a little bit too much for a kid. How old do you think a kid could be on? That? Six and up. Six and up. 160 pound limit. Damn. Wow. So but, I can ride it. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Um, there's a little screw inside there that you can screw in. So the throttle won't open up. Oh. It's like a governor type yeah. thing. But. Well, you need it with kids. That's cool. It's a cute little bike. It runs. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Yeah. All right, there you go. So that's it's running now. I got to get it all put together and hooked uh, up the way, or you know, get everything straightened out on it. Oh my! So he's got that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you knew you would. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I had it running the other day, but now it's running, running. Yeah, it sounds good. So, mm -hmm. get the carburetor adjusted, and I think it'll be all right. Yeah. Hi right, guys, I'm going in and cool down. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Gone for no monk. Like says so, yourself. Bye y'all. Stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you soon. Bye bye guys. <laughs> One more time. some torque. Look at these tires. Still got the tits on it, the nipples. All the way around it, both of them. All, or all four. Don't even have them worn off yet. Look at that. <laughs> Alright. This time I'm out. <laughs>